the Charles Street Carnival being very successful in the summer, so we decided we'd have a Christmas festival in Grafford's Coffee Bar. We didn't have any money for it, so we scratched around and put on a few events, and I can't quite remember what they all were, but the one that I do remember was a film show. And we had somebody who worked as a social worker in Whitchurch Hospital, I think it was a Whitchurch, and he brought some people with, shall we say, learning disabilities, and he brought a whole crowd of them down to the coffee bar one evening. Unfortunately, the only film we could get, well, or we found a projector from somewhere, I think that must have been from Witcher's Hospital. The only film we could find um, was Johnny Morris Goes Youth Hostelling. And while these people didn't really know anything about Youth Hostelling or Johnny Morris, but it didn't really matter, um, because we couldn't quite get the film right, um, and it seemed to go backwards. And they didn't seem to notice that either. Um, and it was rather funny, with Johnny Morris, I can remember walking along the canal, <laughs> walking along backwards, <laughs> sort of forwards. Um, and then an unfortunate thing happened, one of the kids got up um, and knocked the projector over, and the film went flying all over the floor and broke. And we spent days desperately trying to get this film back together again, which we got for nothing from Cardiff Youth Hostel Association. And somehow we had to get it all back in the, the, the spool. Um, but it, they didn't seem to notice that, they didn't seem to mind that. Um, and there was also uh, the great Ernesto there, he did his conjuring trick, one with the guillotine and the carrot and putting your finger in and it might get chopped off and whatever. But they didn't quite follow that either, and they didn't find that at all funny. So that was the end of the, the winter carnival. There was only one, and that was it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>